no gunshots, but they get in low, low. Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to another video. So I've gotten questions before um, on like how I edit my screenshots, how I edit videos, how I do different things. Um, so I figured I'd make a video, and uh, today I'm going to show you how I edit my screenshots of the game that, I, you know, like the screenshots that I post on my Facebook page and other social medias how I get my thumbnail pictures, and then how I edit my videos. So I'm going to show you guys how I do those three things. Now, um, with the screenshots, I've got a folder here. This is where all of my screenshots go. Now, as you can see here, I've got this screenshot labeled EP36. Now, it's the same as this screenshot here. I just copied it over here and renamed it because this is going to be the thumbnail picture for episode 36 of um, Upper Mississippi River Valley. So this is my main screenshot folder. Now I have one here labeled UMRV series. Now you can see I've got eight screenshots in here. Now these are from Corn Harvest. I'm a, way, I'm a ways behind on editing my screenshots. But anyway, so we have these screenshots here. So these are still straight out of the game as are all of these. Now if we open up Google Chrome and go to my apps, here we have Ribbit, R-I-B-B-E-T. Now you can get the app by going to ribbit.com. I will have that link down below uh, for you. And that is this is the program that I use for editing my screenshots. So what I do is I click Upload Photos. Now because this is where I usually go to edit my screenshots, this is where it brings me right now. So here I am at my UMRV series folder, which is where the screenshots that I want to edit next are. So I open it up. Now it's going to have photo basket down here. I just click that down and zoom, click that down. So we have auto fix, crop, rotate, exposure, colors, sharpen, and resize. Now, usually what I do, I just click Auto Fix. That's usually about the only one I do. Sometimes I'll click Auto Colors and just kind of see what it brings up. So um, I clicked Auto Colors and I put my temperature at 11. So this is before Auto Colors and this is after. So I like it better after. Now let's try Exposure. Is that going to make a difference? No. Uh, nothing changed there. So we go over here to Save. Now it has it as a JPEG, but for screenshots, I want PNG. So then I click Save Photo, Save, and Replace. <clears throat> so we'll just edit these eight screenshots here. Again, clicking Auto Fix, and then we'll go down to Colors. See, now I put my temperature at negative 51. I don't like that at all. Uh, auto Exposure didn't do anything, so we're good to go. Click save, and away we go. On to the next one, auto fix, colors, auto colors. Again, brings me down to negative 21. I don't really like that. Now, usually, I don't really change this a whole lot. I just kind of let it do auto-generated things, um, just because I normally like the way it turns out. If I really don't like it, then I'll mess with it a little bit. But normally I like the way that it turns out. So um, I usually just leave it. Auto fix again. Auto colors. See, now that brings me down to negative 13. But I don't mind that one too much. So I'm going to keep it that way. Um, let's check auto exposure. Nothing there. All right. So we'll save that again. Auto fix, auto colors. I don't really like it on that one. So we'll save it. And we'll just run through these other three here. See now this put it down to negative six. Now that's enough change that it makes it look nice. It's not too much. 
So when it gives me a nice little change like that, then I like it. I leave it that way. Um, I used to get really in-depth. I'd sit and mess with every single um, option that there is and get a picture. But I don't really go with that in-depth anymore. I just use the auto-generation buttons and I leave it at that. So again, auto-fix. See now, this one, I don't really like how that one turned out. Uh, nothing there. Alright, now we'll save that. Okay, cool. And just like that, we have eight edited screenshots. So now, uh, we'll open up Photoshop. Uh, and I'll go to File, Open Recent. And here I have four different ones that I've opened. Uh, the thumbnail... Uh, thing for my series of Nodak uh, farm, Nodak map work in progress videos, uh, Mod Hub logo. That was one that I got off the uh, official Mod Hub. Um, was looking at like store image stuff, and then we have UMRV thumb, which is the thumbnail for the UMRV series, and then watermark. So we're gonna do watermark because we're gonna be working with um, the screenshots that I'm gonna post. So now we need to find them, select them all, and then drag them and drop them up here. Now they're all going to load in. Go back to the watermark, and I press the W key. And I go down here usually, and I click on the black of the tire. And then I right click, and I click similar, and that's going to select all of this stuff. And then I go left control C, and then I go to my images, left control V, left control V, of control V again 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 and again and then finally again now I press the V key and that'll get me to where I can move this around but first what I need to do is go left control T and that's gonna bring up to where I can resize this now I click this little chain right here and that makes it so that these two um, you know the width and the height go to exactly the same so if I uncheck that and change this to 50, now you can see it just squished it that way. I don't want that. I want both of them to be 50 and make it, make it so that the image is half of its size, or roughly. Now I click the check mark to complete that, and then I drag and drop that over into the corner. Go left control, shift, left control, left shift, and S. Now that brings me to the saving screen. Now Photoshop always wants to save it as a PSD or Photoshop file. So I always have to click here, go down and select PNG. And then save, OK, OK. And then I close this and I don't want to save my changes. So now I'll run through and do that to all of these. Now this is usually a pain when there's like more than a dozen screenshots to edit because it it does get to be kind of a long time consuming process. But we only have eight photos here so it shouldn't be too bad. Or down to just a couple more here. Uh, so I've gotten to the point where I can do this very quickly because I've done it so many times. So, I mean, you're seeing it now a lot quicker than the first screenshot that I edited. But that's just because I'm not showing all the steps. Okay, so now that we're done with those, we can close this. 
and we'll minimize this. So now we have eight edited screenshots. Now the way that I get them so that I can post them to like Instagram and all of that stuff, I go to my Dropbox and I go to screenshots, FS17 screenshots. I have a folder, you know, I have my stuff kind of organized and then I go here. So I have eight other screenshots from the soybean harvest. Now I'm going to go ahead and I can clear out all of these because I have them backed up elsewhere. I don't really need them all to be there. So we're going to go ahead and move all of these over to the old. Now I haven't saved these to my phone yet, but I know that I need to do these. So it'll, I just remember that. So then I go here, I highlight all of these. I go left control C, go to my Dropbox and left control V. That's going to copy them all over here. So now these are all loading, so I just leave that open. I just minimize it. And now I select all these again and go left control X. And then I go to my external hard drive, uh, FS17 items, screenshots, and then old UMRV screenshots. So that's where I have all of my screenshots backed up. So then we've got all those. Now I go over here and I try and select the screenshots from selling one type of grain so that's all of those ones move them here and now I have the next set ready to rock and roll now uh, these are almost done so usually I just leave this open till they're done and then I go back so now I'm going to show you how I get my thumbnail pictures so again going to Photoshop and I'm gonna go open recent and I want UMRV thumb well, actually, let's close that and let's refresh this to get rid of. So now if we look, it got rid of all of those screenshots. So now we can see these four main that I usually use. Now we're going to go to the UMRV thumb. And that's going to bring up that. So now we'll minimize this and select EP36 and drag and drop that to here. So now I press the M key and then highlight the picture, left control C, and then I go back to my thumbnail. Now you can see I have four layers over here, layer 27. So well, we'll just get rid of everything. Okay, so now you see we just have a blank image. So now if I add layer 27, that's my screenshot. This is the top, ti top text title of welcome to another edition of my FS17 Let's Play series on UMRV. The next one is the episode number. Uh, in the case of this image here, it, it is for episode 35. Now the bottom text is giving a brief description of what is done in that episode. So now we have all of these images. So now if I'm selected on this top uh, layer and go left control V, it pastes the screenshot over top of everything and I don't want to do that. I want to go down here and click on layer 27 and then go left control V and it just goes over top of this screenshot layer. Now I can go and delete this layer. I did that by left clicking and then right clicking and clicking delete layer. Now I need to edit this text to go with this episode. So now I do that. I press the T key for text and then I select this layer. Go backspace and 36, check mark to complete that. Now, I highlight all of this stuff, get rid of everything that I don't need. And, oops. Type in. And I get it all lined up. Perfect, just like that. Now there we go. There we have the screenshot. So then I go left control, left shift, S. And now because when I saved it, saved from this thumbnail thing, it'll take me to my video thumbnails folder. Now I don't want PNG, I want JPEG. That makes a smaller file size and makes it so that I can actually use these um, on my videos. 
If I try and use a PNG file, it is way too large and YouTube won't accept it. So I just click once on the most recent to get the same name and then I just remove the 5 and add a 6, hit enter to save, click OK and then I close this and I want to change keep my I want to save my changes. So I click yes. So there we go. So now I can go back here to my hard drive. I can go to videos, other uh, old UMRV thumbnail picks, and I can s click on this and drag it to old screens. Now because this is a external hard drive, it just wants to copy it. So then I can just go back and delete that. Now if I go to my videos folder, I have a um, uh, shortcut here to my video thumbnails folder. And so I'm just going to do the same, copy it to the thumbnail pictures folder. Now because all of these ones have been used, I can take those and delete them. And now they're out of my way. Now I'll show you how I edit my videos. So I use a program called Shotcut. Um, I will find, I'm pretty sure it's just shotcut, shotcut.com, but I'll find out for sure and put that link down below um, to where you can get this program. Now, the first time it that I open it, um, you know, when I turn my computer on, it takes a little bit to load, but it's open. So now the screen looks like this. Um, I'm using the most recent version of Shotcut um, that there is at the moment. Uh, so, what I need to do is I need to get my video files in. So what I do is I go up here and click Open File. Now this is going to take me straight to my videos folder because that's where I always edit from. So, you can see here we have episode 35. And then this here is labeled 9-25 EP36 Springfield work on the updated map. That's just kind of telling me, so the 9-25, that's when the video will be uploaded. So Today is Sunday, the 24th, so this means that this is going out tomorrow, Monday. And then episode 36, telling me which episode it is. And then just a short thing to help me get a title for the video. So I need to select that, and then I need to hold left control and select my UMRV intro. And then click open. And then I click pause right away. Then I don't have to listen to that while I'm editing. So, I have... Number one is the field work, or the actual video. Number two is the intro. So I want to select the intro first, and I'm going to click and hold and drop it down here, and that'll get me my video file, my video um, layer. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to do the same with that. Now I need to scroll all the way back up to the top. Now you can see there's this big gap in between. So what I need to do is I need to click on the timeline bar to get so that my video stays. Now if I don't do that and I just leave it selected all the way down here, when I move this, it's going to push me all the way back to the end of the video. So I'm not going to see to make sure that I moved it far enough. So I click there and finish dragging that up. Now. I don't want to click on the timeline, I want to click directly onto the video here. And um, we're just going to sign out of here quick because these notifications are starting to annoy me. Um, so then you can see we are in the playlist tab and then there's properties, filters, and export. I need to go to filters and I want to click the plus and click fade in audio. Then I want to do it again for fade in video and then fade out audio and fade out video. So that's going to get it so that it goes and fades out. Just like that. You can see how it fades in like that. So now we're done. So now we need to click export. Scroll down here and I double click on H.264 high. Now I'm not sure if that's really necessary, but the video that I first watched when I was learning how to use this program, that's what he showed. So I've always done it just as an extra precaution. An extra preca precaution. Sheesh. So now I click export file. Now I click on the most recent one just to get my name. 
and then I highlight up to where the three is and then I have a six and then dash and then starting spring field work on the new save game and there is my title so then I'd click save now I'm just gonna copy this name because I don't want to save it quite yet because it makes my frames drop in um, OBS when I'm recording but that is how I do all of my editing guys um, there's really nothing else to show it it's all just basically those few uh, steps and then for editing like the thumbnails for my Nodak series, it's the same process, only it's the same. Um, I use the same thumbnail image for that. I just edit uh, which episode number it is. That's the only difference there. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description uh, for the links to uh, Ribbit and Shotcut. Uh, Photoshop is not, well, I think they do have a free version, but this is the uh, paid full version, which it costs like $400, um, but uh, my stepdad owns it, so he let me install it here. Um, you can also do things with Paint.net. It's just a little bit more of a process because it's not as simple as Photoshop but uh, you know there's different ways that you can edit the screenshots um, I also have my PC specs down in the description as well as my upload schedule and links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you tomorrow